Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are coming across this platform. If it is your first time and you like what you are watching, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here in Linda's TV show, we react to all forms of videos, local and international, especially what is happening in Nigeria. I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform for us to use to disseminate information at the same time i am putting a disclaimer that this platform linda's tv should do not in any way promote misleading information hate speech or violence i do not like those things so i will never promote them in my platform we are here to educate and inform the members of the gie his excellency mazi Simonepa. Bans October 1st, Nigeria Independence Day celebration in Biafra land. The Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in exile, His Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoko, has officially banned October 1st celebration known as the Zoo Independence Day celebration within Biafra territory. And uh, of course, you know, before we came, not before we joined the struggle, before the Biafra government came into existence, or before the kidnap of Mazin Namdekano in the year 2021, we all have witnessed so many october 1st chambolic independence day celebration in the zoological republic we have seen the idiocy of the so-called leadership we have seen the stupidity of the so-called leadership i'm talking about ipob we have seen the shenanigans and the deceit from this so-called leadership whenever october 1st comes out or approaches they will come with one idiocy or the other so because of that this time around where the biafra government has taken charge of the Biafra struggle, it is no longer business as usual. If you see anybody from nowhere hiding somewhere in Ghana or hiding somewhere in Kuwait, claiming to be freedom fighter or freedom fighters, coming to make any announcement, they are on their own. The Biafran people have a government and we are all following that very government bomba to bomba. That is the reason why over 50 million Biafrans today have given their mandate to the government of Biafra and of course led by the Prime Minister his Excellency Ekpa Simon Njoko. I hope my voice is coming out clear. Please, if my voice is coming out clear, please let me know if my voice is coming out clear. Let me know, please, so that we can proceed. What we have come to do this evening is very, very important and significant. And like as I said, very, very, very important in the life of every Biafran. If my voice is clear, let me know in the comment section. Very, very important so we can proceed. Now, without further ado, let us begin with the tweet of the Prime Minister yesterday. Uh, sorry, early this morning. And then after this, we'll read it from the official flyer. 
as you can see here i will make this very broadcast an open one so that any of you who want to make your contribution will join me without wasting any time in order to make your contribution because like as i said before i don't want to stay too long here now according to the pm nigeria october pay attention please nigeria october first is banned in biafra land let this particular information sink in your head let this particular information sink in your head tomorrow everything nigeria everything nigeria everything ifo bonabasalu nigeria ifo bonabasalu zoo in our land within biafra territory will be shut down this is not a joke there will be no movement from 6 a.m till 4 a.m this is today this very command is today this morning so this very word is very very strong very very strong look at it there let this particular information sink in your head that brings me back to what happened on the 30th of may this same year 2024 pay attention i'm taking you somewhere if you haven't shared the broadcast do it right now please every individual in biafra land especially in biafra land must get this message must i said capital m u s t must get this very message and if you are listening to me from the diaspora you live in abroad we all know that nobody is an island you do not you did not fall from sky you came from somewhere and you left that place to your destination where you are right now so and you believe that your people do not have access to the media it is your responsibility to put call across inform them after this very broadcast let them know that tomorrow will be total shut down in biafra territory anything that represents the zoo according to the pm according to the pm i did not see a general you know i did not see uh, you know general um i did not see sit at home i did not see you know public uh you know uh shutdown of the entire biafra land oh there is it it, it is it's, it's actually there according to him he said tomorrow everything nigeria within biafra land will shut down then he went on to say look at it here there will be no movement there will be no movement so therefore there is shut down of the entire biafra territory tomorrow not only the zoo institutions because as i'm talking to you right now the zoo institutions are currently under shutdown because of our one month shutdown of the zoo institutions within biafra territory so he said there will be no movement meaning that the entire biafra territory will be under lock and key he said from 6 a.m no water to till 4 p.m in the evening time no movement now this very instruction is coming from the office of the prime minister of biafra whom over 50 million Biafrans have given mandate to fight for them, declare their independence, and of course defend them. And he and the government in exile and the de facto government in homeland have been doing it diligently 
as you all can see what seem to be miracle at the moment where we now have the army of biafra we now have the navy of biafra defending and fighting against the terrorists whose objective is to come massacre chase away take over and conquer so the government has been doing everything it can within its powers to safeguard the biafra territory and protect our women and children in our land so once the same government that has the mandate of the people gives an instruction the people ought to obey these are your own sacrifice people are fighting for it so that little sacrifice you can pay you have to pay it for your freedom now as if that is not enough i'm going to explain a lot of things to you i want you to follow me as we move with speed there will be no movement from 6 a.m to 4 p.m like as i said before it is your responsibility your responsibility some people are talking about protest there is no protest in biafra territory anybody remember i talked about the criminals who have who have been there deceiving people pushing mazinam the canoe front and back making him to go for uh, uh, back and forth you know turning him left right and center all through these years in the name of agitation we have gone beyond that what we are doing right now is liberation struggle we are no longer into agitation so those idiots who are agitating i want to advise them again if you know the meaning of liberation struggle you shouldn't be talking about agitation again anybody you hear you hear anybody telling you about uh, biafra agitation that person is living in the past and as you are so intelligent as an intelligent biafran as you are or that you are must not pay attention to anybody who is living in the past as an intelligent Biafran that you are, you cannot pay attention to those who are still living in the past, who are not following the current trend. If I na kona buyigwe sakatum sakatum kaboom kaboom, which is called in a simple term liberation struggle it has absolutely nothing to do with agitation so we don't live in the past we have passed through we have passed through the agitation uh, process and period now we are in liberation so anybody telling you about protest it is not re that person or that group of people are not representing biafra you must discard it you must disassociate yourself from such nonsense there is no protest tomorrow in Biafra land. Anybody who wants to do protest should carry it to Nigeria. There could, there could be protests in Nigeria, but in Biafra territory, it is shut down. Why did I tell you that tomorrow is very, very significant in the life of every Biafran and, of course, uh, uh, the you know lovers of freedom? I will get to that point i will definitely get to that point now i want you to pay attention because the instruction from the office of the prime minister did not end there 
as we continue, he said again, Nigeria October 1st celebration is banned in Biafra territory. Over 50 million Biafrans who voted in the self-referendum will mind their businesses. Every Nigerian institutions in Biafra land will be shut down tomorrow. First, October 2024. Biafrans can go about their businesses. So it is now clearer here. It is now what? Clearer here. Because it seems like he realized the, you know, the confusion in the first tweet. Then he came back again and retweeted it, which I will be reading from the official flower uh, flyer just in a jiffy. Are you paying attention? So now, if you have anybody in Biafra land, which is now taking us back to the campaign of the one month lockdown of Biafra of uh, a zoo institutions within the Biafra territory, which is taking us back to that very same that same kind of campaign that anybody working in the zoo institution within Biafra land must must pay attention to this must sit in their various homes tomorrow because obuniji femelo na 30th of may 2024 we compare remember that was biafra independent biafra you know remembrance day now how is it going to be how will it be when the zoo is celebrating independence within biafra territory are you getting it so please if you are calling your home you are calling them based on what there is no celebration of the zoo in, uh, independence in Biafra land whatsoever. And again, those who have people who are working in the zoo institutions within Biafra land should, without any further hesitation, call them and tell them that the Biafra government that they have voted for, because even those who are working for the zoo have also voted and given their mandates. Don't think that these 50 million Biafrans are only, you know, businessmen. A lot of 99.999% of civil servants serving the zoo in Biafra land have also voted for Biafra exit from the Zoological Republic. So, anybody threatening them is on their own if you are threatening any of our people whose only way of making any a living as it stands right now is to work as a civil servant under the zoo institutions in biafra land and you are threatening them for whatsoever reason you are on your own in as much as that very word or threat is not coming from the Biafra government. Bana, according to the, um, of course, the official flyer from the office of the Prime Minister, it says, announcement, the celebration of the Nigeria independence on, on, on the 1st of October remains banned in Biafra territory. There will be lockdown on the 1st of October before the 60 days lockdown of Nigeria institutions in Biafra territory as part of the ongoing delegitimization of the Nigeria terrorist state within Biafra land. So now, this very official flyer was made because of the first tweet because of the first tweet, because I know 
that a lot of people will be confused because of this. So many people will be confused because of this. So, based on the last the last tweet of the prime minister the last tweet of this very current development says that every biafran according to him he said biafrans can go about their businesses that was the last tweet the last tweet of this very latest development so please and if you go through the official X account of the Prime Minister, you see that the first one, the first tweet, got almost 50,000, you know, seen or views, whatever you can call it. Now, if you go to the flyer itself, the flyer which he shared uh, yesterday, was it yesterday or 28? Sorry, 28. Which has 26K views from my end. I don't know how many it has from your end. Now, when you go to the new one, the latest one, which is the last update he made over this very effect, it's got about 30K views, right? Meaning that the first one, that has over 50k views from my side has already you know gotten the minds of our people more than the latest one this is what i want you to understand here more than the latest one so it is very very imperative that we educate our people let them understand what the prime minister is trying to say According to the last tweet, he said that Biafrans can go about their businesses. But the zoo institutions will remain shut down. Will remain shut down tomorrow. So when you bring it back to what I said initially, which I said, is going to be very i said tomorrow will be very very uh, you know important and significant in the life of every biafran what does that mean that means that as we shut down all the zoo institutions tomorrow which is not just because of the 30 day lockdown which is going on as it stands today but this one is strictly attack on the zoo which which is going to send you know signal to the entire world that the people of this very area the people from this area have not only rejected the zoo but also let the zoo know How, Im how important, how important, how significant, how they cherish their freedom, how important it is to be free, to have freedom, to be free from, uh, you know, from slavery. So, for us to abandon the zoo independence day celebration is another shocker it's going to be another shocker to to the zoo to tinubu to the ministers to the governors to every single thing that represents nigerian state in Biaf in the world at large not just in biafra land or in Nigeria, but at you know worldwide. So please, it is very very important that our people get this message. 
the reason why we will boycott anything that has to do with the zoo independence is because we are no longer Nigerians. Therefore, we cannot celebrate Nigeria. And more importantly, as far as the zoo is concerned, the zoo represents death. I want you to listen. The Nigeria state as it stands today represents death. And we cannot celebrate our death. Nigeria has murdered our people, buyed our people, and they keep on buying our people on a regular basis. On a, on, in fact, this is now a routine thing. They have murdered our people on a regular basis. Therefore, the zoo itself represents death. And we cannot afford to celebrate our own, you know, passing away. We can celebrate our own unaliving. Let me use the word they use on, on TikTok. Are you paying attention? So, when you see something which is, you know, destroying your life, the only option you have is to stay away from it. That is the only option you have to stay away from it completely. Because failure to stay away from it, you, you may not even live to regret it. You may not live to regret it. So there is no any celebration within Biafra land tomorrow. Now, I want to play this very video just to remind the zoo, had it been that they listened to this very man seven years ago, this very issue wouldn't have gotten to this very level that it is today. The spiritual. You can't fight an ideology with God and bullet. Let me explain this. See that before we pray. I'm, I'm worried. So people want to fight an ideology. How do you fight an ideology? An ideology is like a spirit. You can fight an ideology. You can't use gun and bullet to stop an ideology. The way to deal with an ideology, you engage it with wisdom. The only bullet that can kill an ideology is the bullet of knowledge. Wisdom. Wisdom. The only way, <laughs> the only way to deal with the ideology is to go back to the founder of the ideology and reprogram the ideology. And stand at the central processing unit of the ideology and make sure it is rightfully corrected. Look at if you remove the leader, have you removed the ideology? There are more crazy Namdi Kanu that will come up after Namdi. The zoo, did you hear that? <laughs> the zoological republic of animal kingdom, did you hear that? If you remove Nam de Kano, there are more people crazier than in Nam de Kano who will come up. How many of you remember one idiot that called himself uh, pa uh, uh, prophet? One idiot that called himself a prophet who was making a video a couple of months ago when there was a, a rumor of release of Mazinam de Kano when the uh the governors were parabolating 
you know, gallivanting all over the places, claiming to have or uh, to go and meet Tinubu for them to for him to release Mazin Amdekano to them. One idiot came out and claimed to be a prophet. <laughs> he said that uh, Simon Ekba is a uh, parasite one. Namdekano is parasite two. So you cannot release parasite, para, parasite two without parasite one. <laughs> How many of you remembered it? <laughs> How many of you saw that video? Although sometime in the past, I also told you that the man was correct. Although he claimed to be a, 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 prof, a prophet or claimed to be, you know, speaking prophetically. But there is nothing like prophecy there. It has absolutely nothing to do with prophecy. It's true. That is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Cancer 1 and Cancer 2, which is going to... Oh yeah, tagi de zoo, tagi de zoo, tagi de zoo, tapi aya, tabu nyoya nyama, people everywhere, more coco. Is it parasite or cancer? I don't remember. Yeah, that parasite or cancer, he said. Cancer 1, cancer 2, parasite 1, parasite 2, whatever. He's going to eat the zoo until the zoo is finished. I concur. It is true. <laughs> Cancer 1 and Cancer 2, or Parasite 1 and Parasite 2, whatever. You understand? So, now, if the zoo, if they were told, when they were busy spending billions of worthless naira, to lay their filthy hands on Mazinam the Kano, the man that Chukoki Kabiyama blessed. And they thought it was going to end there. They thought it was going to end there. Somebody's asking me if I mean uh, premature your delay. No, it's not your delay. <laughs> Uh, that why you made me even call the name of some irrelevant idiots. Not even that one. Not that one that called himself pre Premier Chayodela or whatever that he called himself. There's another one. I don't remember his name. Somebody can remind me on comment section because I know that many of you watch the video. It's just recently. And forget those names they are answering. Premier, Premier Chayodela. Uh, the pastor, prophet, all those nonsensical. They, none of them is primate. None of them is pastor. None of them, I said, none of them is prophet. No, not even one person. None of them. If there is a true, you know, prophet in the zoo, they are not more than one person. <laughs> so forget those. Uh, prophet Ikuru. I think he's done. I think he sounds like that. Somebody said prophet Ikuru. Maybe, maybe your your coco. So it's not a prophecy; it's reality. As they have grabbed the cancer one, even in their own custody, is eating them up. Is eating them up in their own custody, and they haven't dealt with it. They are busy looking for cancer too. <laughs> you see? So, this man, this very man, Iginla, who was advising the zoo many years ago, if you ask me, I will still tell you that there is nothing like prophecy there. This is not against Gila. It's not against him. There is nothing like prophecy there. Because even the layman, even the little baby, who was knowledgeable enough to understand what was going on as at that time can you know picture the future i'm saying a little baby a newborn baby who was aware 
who has the ability to know what was happening as at that time could have been able to picture the future so it has nothing to do with you know prophecy but i am not against iginla because every single thing he said on this video and the other one he was saying dialogue now were all true were all true not prophecy because even as a then somebody who does not claim to be a prophet would have known you know what is going to happen they are just hiding under him the only way to kill this is not by gun and bullets it's by engaging with proper dialogue with knowledge and wisdom now on their own side the one nigerianists on their own side they are telling the zoo to dialogue with the biafra agitators mazinam de kano in order to settle him and nigeria continues the way it is on their own part because i watched another of his video i don't know if he's here i don't know if that if he, that part is also here there's another of his video he said that he is not in support of the breakup of nigeria because he's a full nigerian he said it iginla said it you understand me so now a prophecy does not come as a pro a pro uh, as a probability or under probability prophecy does not come with probability yes i think that is the right word prophecy does not come can never come with probability it is not possible prophecy will come boom and tell you this is what god said and this is what is going to happen so 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 time so 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 day because when you talk about prophecy that means god is speaking it does not come with probability probability it does not come with the uh, assumption <laughs> you understand me prophecy is the word of god and i say this is what is going to happen and there is no any other solution because it's going to happen it is only one place in the bible that i saw that god says somebody is going to die the person went to face wall and started crying to god and god extended his age only one one place every other places you talk about prophecy it is one thing once they say this is what is going to happen it will happen right that is prophecy it does not come with a you know alternative there is no any alternative for prophecy this is something that people do not know <laughs> no alternative for prophecy no he doesn't have alternative if god has told any man of god i'm not talking this is not for Iginla. i'm not here to criticize Iginla. get it right please when god tells any prophet any of his child go and tell whoever that is the president of the zoo that the zoo will disintegrate it is like that is done and dusted there is nothing will make the zoo not to disintegrate just as god has told his prophet mazinam de kano <laughs> the same way god told his prophet that the zoo will break and since then mazinam de kano has remained consistent knowing fully well that that word that his father told him that same word god told him will come to pass that's why he is standing firm in his conviction that a time is fast approaching where the zoo will come to an end because his father had told him 
it doesn't come with assumption or probability no it's not that god say you should go and uh, have dialogue with us so that the zoo should not break there is nothing like no 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 <laughs> there's nothing like actually to be honest with you as a spiritual man that i am there is absolutely nothing like that god does not give assumption or alternative to his word no <laughs> so let's continue but remember the bone of contention here is that if the zoo listened to this man and called for dialogue on our own favor which is to know uh, to officially demarcate to officially divide to officially the uh, you know share our boundaries with the zoo it would have been easier for them without this you know the so-called what they call today violent agitation it wouldn't have gotten there it wouldn't have gotten there so their own dialogue is different from our own dialogue i don't know if you're paying attention that's why we don't criticize them uh, somebody like again we don't we don't criticize him we take the we take our own the one that favors us and we leave them with their own their own dialogue is to call their agitators and settle them talk to them you know calm them down settle with them and then con the country moves on that is their own dialogue our own dialogue is different we are thinking or we are coming from a different direction our own dialogue is to tell us okay you guys have drawn your map you have you, are, you know your borders okay let us make it official boom everybody goes their separate ways that is our own dialogue and that is where we stand you understand so that's why i said we take the one that is that, that is beneficial to us and we leave their own instead of us to criticize him let's continue this cry we are hearing here is not a cry of children it's a cry of adults the only way i i am not an advocate that nigeria sh should separate god for good <laughs> now, <laughs> to be honest with you when I got this video recently, I think it was yesterday, or that I've watched the video before. But when I got this particular one that I'm playing now, I didn't listen, I didn't watch it till this moment. But I knew that this same man of God, at a point, there's a time he said he is not for Nigeria's breakup because he's a full-blooded nigerian and it's not even up to one minute boom <laughs> let's listen again so remember i have made it clear that this analysis is not against iginla at least he tried he tried to speak up than others other criminals who are parading themselves as pastors in the zoo even bigger than him some bigger criminals so he's even better than some other bigger you know arm robbers who use bible and microphone to deceive our people no i am not an advocate that nigeria sh should separate god forbid no but i'm saying the best way to handle this listening to the cry of the children sit down everything is not gone and bullet when you take the leader away okay take the leader away the next how many people are on the streets do you know how many spirit of biafra have entered people do you know how many do you know how many millions are carrying the spirit of biafra around so if you kill the leader or you take the leader away can you take the spirit from everybody never ojuku is not here but biafra is alive mm -hmm. It's an ideology. 
The man who started it has left. Before he left, he kept quiet and lived peacefully and left. But the generation that have come have picked it up. And it's even worse than his own now. And they are engaging it with, an idea, with, with knowledge. And do you know, when this man said this, he said, and even worse than now, than as it is before. When this man said it, we are talking about seven to eight years ago, when Mazinam Dekano was detained, illegally detained in Kuje. When he was arrested, actually arrested in Lagos State, uh, you know, airport, international airport, Muta Mohammed airport hotel so that is when this man was making these utterances telling them that it is not about gun and bullet and remember that time we were not armed ipob members were being mauled on a daily basis <laughs> we were not armed. The zoo were having their field day. <clears throat> Anytime they hear protest from IPOB, boom. They have come to suck blood that day. That day they have come to suck blood. And we were not armed. This man was telling them <laughs> this thing that even now it is now even worse than Ojuku them time. He was saying it, he never knew that we will be armed <laughs> someday. And this is just seven to eight years ago. Right? 2017. 2017. Right? So, he, he, even he himself <laughs> wasn't aware that the word he said that time in the name of prophecy will even go beyond what he said he saw. He never knew. So, if the zoo, if the zoo, zoological republic, was aware of what is going to be happening today at least they would have paid attention to this man's word even though they want to accept it as a prophecy no problem but the generation that have come have picked it up and it's even worse than his own now and they are engaging it with an idea with with knowledge so the best way to deal with this is not gun and bullet it's not gun and bullet when the revolution want to start the revolutionist the first thing they will do they will pass the idea and impregnate their followers the only way to stop it is to stop them before they impregnate the followers but if the followers are impregnated that's all all of them are carrying pregnancy they will soon deliver to other children if you if you have two million biafra you already have four million biafra because they are selling the ideology and now I don't have a problem. But my, my own concern is that you don't take woman's life. The best way to do that, you engage them in the ideology. If you feel the ideology is not correct, you dialogue. You sit down with them. If dignifying them will make them feel important, then do that. Did you get that? That's why I told you we take our own and leave them with their own. He said, if dignifying them. <clears throat> If dignifying them will make them important, then do that. So that what will happen, so that the country will continue. But we are not here for that. We are not here for that. We do not need anybody to dignify us. No. Hold your digni dignity or whatever they call it. Hold it. Eat it. Bath with it. Sleep with it. Eat it. That you may be belly full. We don't need your dignity. Or dignifying, whatever. We don't need it. Let us go and build our own dignity in our own home. As a free nation. As a free people. 
That is the most important thing to all of us. We know how to build dignity. We are Biafrans. Nobody can teach us how to build, how to build integrity or dignity. We know it better than every other person. We know it. Obudi Tuan, we know it. Go and check record. We have more in men of integrity and dignity all over the world. Go and check record. Go, go, just go and do your own research. So we know how to make them. We know how to build a name. We know how to build dignity. We know how to build integrity. So Fulani cannot come from Fota Jalon to give us dignity. Fulani or Tinubu controlled by the Fulani Bambiala and Boko Haram has no capacity to give us integrity. Never. So let us go and build our own dignity that the whole world may come and pay homage. We have what it takes to do it. And they know. They know very well that we have what it takes to build the dignity. That's why they are fighting. They don't want us to do it. Because they don't want to be irrelevant. They don't want to be seen as irrelevant people. You know, in a more fuma, in a more fuma, on ya nyuku nolonakoko. Or if I now buy an obibo, how is this person doing this? How comes he is the one seen? As so imp as somebody who is so much important, how comes he's the one? How comes? How comes? The only thing that, that will be coming in their mind is how come? How come? How come? They wouldn't want to wait and learn from you in order to be like you. Rather, they will be asking themselves, why him? Why her? How come? How come? But a wise person, a wise person, a very wise person who want to who wants to learn, will take his time, learn from you. How are you doing it? And when they are learned, when they learned perfectly, they will come out as you know, um, they will come out as champions deliver to other children if you if you have two million biafra you already have four million biafra because they are selling the ideology and now i don't have a problem but I, what my, my own concern is that you don't take woman's life the best way to do that you engage them in the ideology if you feel the ideology is not correct you dialogue you sit down with them if dignifying them will make them feel important then do that We can't be killing people and we're getting excited. No! Afonja, did you hear that? <laughs> Afonja, did you hear that? I am happy that this man is a Yoruba man. He said, you cannot be buying people and you want us to be happy with that. This man, this man, is a born again. <laughs> this man is a born again. You know, uh, is it a born again? No, he's a real. Should I say a real Christian? No, I don't believe in. Re I don't believe in religion. He's a born again. Yes. Did he only that word he said is enough for me to know that he's a born again? He is not biased. Yes, you you cannot be buying people. Let's hear that again. We can't be killing people and we're getting excited. No, you cannot be buying people and we're getting excited. He said, no, he shouted in loud, loud voice. You see, 
Now, that brings me to the all-important question that has been hovering all over the, the you know, the, 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 uh, uh, the atmosphere. Asking, these individuals, especially the Afon Jazz and the Fajunas in our land, the Afon Jazz from Yoruba land and the Fajunas from Igbo land, where have you all been? You see, the comment of this man here, only that word he said, you cannot be buying people. And we are getting excited. He said, no. He shouted in loud voice. That has brought me to the question. All the fulefus, all their funjas, who have been gallivanting all over the places, all the media platforms that are there, telling us how to fight for our freedom, telling us how they dislike what they, the so-called, you know, uh, violent uh, agitation, the so-called violent ag agitation, telling us how they don't support the way we are doing it, telling us there is a way to do it, Telling us that if the zoo want to break up, not the, the way we are doing it, we cannot come together and uh, discuss and break it up. What is holding you from coming together to discuss, even without me? Without me, can you, could you please, could you please go together or come together and discuss the breakup of the zoo and leave me behind, leave me alone? I don't want to follow you. In fact, the dialogue it, discuss it, come out with answer, with a reasonable, you know, answer, uh, 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 response from your dialogue. We will appreciate it. <clears throat> we will appreciate it, hundred percent. So, thank you so much for sticking to this video to the end. Like I said before, now it's time for us to go to the comment section to air our mind and our opinion. Say what you think about this video and this platform. Do it constructively. Share this video. Like, subscribe, and also continue to watch Linda's TV show because this is the home of news. Until I see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. For now, I would say bye-bye.